Hey everyone, welcome back to Happy Little Nights. This is the Creative Podcast, episode four, and I am Chanel Shea. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I am getting sick, <laughs> so that's why I sound a little nasally. Um, okay, so today is... A little more of an interesting video. We do have a slight podcast, but it's mostly just going to be me talking about my goals for this year. And then at the end of the video, I do have um, like a craft room tour because we're in the craft room. Finally, <laughs> we are no longer in the baby's room. The baby's right there, by the way. Um, but yeah, we are finally here in the craft room. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the end because I have some footage of me kind of, I was going to do a whole separate video of me like doing this room, but then I just ended up doing it and then forgetting to film it. So, um, so yeah, let's get into it, I guess. Okay. So the first things that we're going to get into, um, I have a couple of whips and then honestly, that's it as far as like knitting goes, just a couple of whips and then we'll get into the goals for this year. That's going to be the big chunk of this video. Um, okay, so my current whip. So, do you remember in my last video, I talked about how I, have, how I had a bunch of red yard and I was going to do something with it? Well, I finally started something with that. And it is right here. And of course, I'm in the middle of a row, like a dingling. So, I am making a shawl. Um, I talked in my last video about how I wanted to knit a shawl because I've crocheted shawls before, but I've never knit one before. And that is what we got going on here. Sorry, I have a bit of a tangled mess. Okay. I am attempting the, I think it's called Rain or Shine Shawl, Rainy Days Shawl by Drops Design. I'll put that information in the description, but, um, yeah, so I am attempting to make it. This is what I got going so far. I just love this yarn so much. It just is so vibrant and it has so much texture in the color and it just so rich and, oh, and it's so soft. I just love it so much. Um, yeah, so I don't know how I feel about this pattern. <laughs> I like this so far, you know, with this line down the middle and the detail of the garter stitch and yeah, just, I like this so far, but then you get to a point, which is the point that I'm at now, where you do honeycomb stitch and I've never done that before and I'm learning that I don't like it very much. I think it's just, if I were to do it with different yarn on like something a little bit thicker, um, maybe I would have more, maybe I'd have a better time knitting that, but on something so small and my first time learning how to knit, knit a shawl, it probably wouldn't have been the best idea to do a stitch that I've ever done before at the same time. Um, so yeah, I don't really like the pattern so far, to be completely honest with you. I, well, I guess I just don't like honeycomb stitch. So I think what I'm going to do is probably take back what I've worked so far, this little section right here, and then either just continue in garter stitch or maybe do like a pattern that I'm, I know how to do, um, or maybe something a little more simple or maybe some cables or something. But I think I want to try honeycomb on a different project, one that'll be a little bit easier for me to learn on. Um... But yeah, and then the other thing that I'm struggling with are these needles. Oh my gosh. So these are interchangeable needles from Amazon. They're just like a cheap set. And I wanted to get needles so bad because I hate these things. The yarn keeps getting snagged on this little bit right here. And then whenever this unscrews, it gets stuck in here. And since this is like such thin yarn, it just gets caught. Every time I try to like slide this over, it... Oh my goodness, it has been a big old pain in the butt. I'm on the hunt for some new needles, but we'll get into that more later. Um, but yeah, this went up very quick. I don't remember exactly when I started this, but it is going by very fast. 
But then I got to see the honeycomb stitch and realized I don't like it, so I put it back down. <laughs> and I picked something else up. Um, last podcast, I also talked about the infamous black sweater. Um, I have made a lot of progress progress on it. Um, I started it up like a week ago, I want to say. And um, yeah, I think definitely before Christmas. Um, and yeah, I'm like... A, like I mentioned before, I am just winging this pattern. Like, I am just knitting this to fit my body. I'm not following a pattern. Um, I'm just using my knowledge on a raglan sweater and my measurements and just seeing what we get. <laughs> For my sweater, I'm using Lion Brand pre-spun or re-spun 100% poly recycled polyester yarn. Um, for the color work that I'm doing, I'm using the colorway Alpine is the colorway for this one. And then for the black, the colorway is, if I can find it, it's the same yarn, just in a different colorway. Uh, colorway Raven for the black. I have so far used half of one of these skeins for what I've done so far and then I just caked it up. I had finished the yoke of the sweater and I separated for the sleeves and then last minute decided I'm gonna attempt color work for the first time because I've been wanting to do color work so bad lately. It's been like my biggest crave color work. Um, so I picked up some yarn that I wanted to use and I started doing some color work and I'm obsessed with it. I literally went on Google and found a free color work chart on Google and that's what we got going on. Um, yeah, so you can't really see because I didn't want it to be like an obvious contrast color to where if I mess up you can see my mistakes. So I went with something a little more subtle and this is what we got going so far. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> no way, this looks so good. In person it doesn't look that good, but on camera with this lighting. Wow, that made my day. Let's let's show you one more time because I am so excited about this. Just look at oh my yes, scrum diddly umptious. Just look how beautiful. Get out of town. Okay, this is my floats. They're real messy because this is my first time trying this and I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah yeah. That's what we're working with. They are messy but that's okay i mean it's working or whatever so yeah um i'm having a lot of fun knitting this up i cannot put it down it is my newest addiction this is what it looks like so far i wish this wasn't curling so that you could see is this where let's see Um, I'm gonna have to do some blocking because as you can see it's kind of puckering up here I think maybe I don't really know but yeah I'm gonna definitely have to block this and see if I can get that puckering to go away I am so obsessed looking at it in the camera just it looks so good I just want to stare at it forever um, anyway <laughs> oh it just looks so good <laughs> okay I'm so, all done I'm I'm sorry Okay, so yeah, that's my sweater that I'm working on so far. Um, my plans for it is I'm going to do, so the chart has 25 rows um, to make this like diamond pattern type situation, as you can see. I'm going to do those 25 rows and then work the rest of the body in just the black. So it'll just be like a strip across um, like the center of the sweater. And then I think I'm going to do some of that color work on the sleeves and then have like a really long cuff. Um, and then call it good, maybe. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan for the sweater. We, I think I'm like, I'm on the 14th row. So I'm a little over halfway of this color work chart. And then we'll switch to just black. And I'll do, I'm going to do really thick ribbing on everything. Um, because I like the look of like a long ribbing. Um, Plus, I think, excuse me, the ribbing will probably help cling to the body more and have the sweater kind of like have that like overflow 
like baggy look to it maybe um and then i really like a long cuff of ribbing so i'm going to do that too and then for the collar i like the collar but it has this weird like so i've already blocked this once before i started the color work i blocked it once just with um steam i didn't like wet block it you know like where you soak it or anything um but the collar like bubbles for some reason so and i this is even after i blocked it it was bubble it was yeah bubbling before i blocked it and then no change after blocking it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and pick up stitches and make this a really long um collar and then just fold it and sew it so it's like a like a thicker collar and then maybe and like add some elastic and see like what happens like if that does anything i'm hoping that it does but yeah that's the sweater so far those are my plans for it let's take a look at this one last time you guys are most up for that Ooh. it just looks so good i'm just so proud of this like it's my first time doing color work it doesn't i mean it's not that hard of a it's not like super intricate intricate or anything it's a repeat over and over again basically um but for my first time i'm really proud of how it's coming out um so yeah those are my current whips the diaper bag situation i put it down because i got too like i was having too much fun i was having too much fun with these two patterns so i put the diaper bag down um, I do plan on picking that back up again soon. Um, probably when I finish the body of the sweater, I'll go back to the diaper bag, whip that up really quick, and then I'm going to go to the shawl while everything's blocking. Um, and then, yeah, I don't have any FOs at the moment. Um, yeah, the green yarn is still in my stash, like, there. And I'm not going to touch that until I at least get either the shawl, the diaper bag, or the sweater done, because those three are the ones that I need to work on the most, because I want to try and get this sweater and shawl, mainly the sweater done this month, so that I could still have some winter left to wear it, because I still have the other, the first black sweater that I made, and it's very warm, so this isn't going to be something I'm going to want to wear in the springtime, um, so I want to make sure that I get it done so I can still get some wear out of it before it starts getting warmer. Um, so yeah, the sweater is going to be the one I'm working on the most this month. And then the shawl will be like second in line because again, I want to be able to wear the shawl, um, before it gets too warm. And then the diaper bag, I can use that year round. So it's not, I'm not in a big of a hurry to finish it, um, because I do have a diaper bag that I can use obviously. Um, so yeah. And then I guess that's all I have for whips at the moment. I do have something really exciting to show you. Um, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> so I've always wanted one of these, um, but they're for some reason expensive at a lot of places. Um, and at Joann's, they're like $40 and they were half off the other day. So I was like, I've come to this Joann's a bajillion times and I've never seen it on sale and it's half off. I'm gonna buy it. Ta-da! I have no idea what they're called. But, yes, I am so excited that I finally got one. Look at how nice. It's so, oh my, breaks it. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so this is like, I don't know. It's just, it's really, probably not as exciting to you, but to me, I'm really excited about finally having one of these. I don't need it, but I really wanted it. So, yeah, it also makes for a very nice decoration um on my new desk that my husband built for me and i will show you that more um at the end but yeah okay now let's move on to plans of 2023 <laughs> first plan or i guess goal because i'm going into this year not so much as looking at this as my new year's resolutions or anything i'm trying to have a mindset of these are goals 
and I want to set myself up to achieve these goals and not make them like something like huge and unrealistic for myself. So for knitting goals, my goals for this year um, are to clear this out as much as I can because this is not yarn that I'm going to want to create with. Um, I, yeah, I am starting to find that I like really muted colors, natural colors. My first goal is to clear this out by donating it, um, selling it maybe, probably mostly donating it. Um, and then, yeah, I want to start introducing better quality yarn that I'm going to enjoy using and I'm going to enjoy wearing. Um, I want to get yarn that has nicer colors and better, like, texture and is more durable, um, so I can enjoy using it and enjoy wearing it longer. Like I said, you know, that is my goals for yarn. Um, and then as far as knitting goes, I want to educate myself more on knitting. Like, I want to... I consider myself a beginner like I do understand the basics of knitting and as you can see like I know enough to make a sweater but I don't know like I don't know like the ter a lot of the terminology for things and when it comes to sorry my nose is really like <laughs> I sound so nasally I'm so sorry it sounded like Squidward um but yeah I I want to educate myself better on like structure and how like certain yarns work for certain patterns and like how certain yarns will wear when it comes to these types of garments and stuff like that um and how to better structure a garment like a sweater or um a tank top or a t-shirt or whatever you know a cardigan um i also want to kind of go outside of my comfort zone and i want to try knitting things that I normally would be too scared to like harder patterns like not okay with the honeycomb that's a bad example because i will be i will be trying it again just on something not as intricate <laughs> but that's beside the point um but yeah i want to try like knitting cardigans i want to try and knit a cardigan so bad but they scare me because i because i don't know before so I am going to, to attempt to do stuff that is outside of comfort zone. Um, I also need to get better needles. I hate the needles that I have. They suck. Um, but the thing is, is I'm, I've been trying to research like what needles to get. And I have no idea like what to get. I want to get a set of interchangeable needles, preferably... Um, Preferably some that are like the swivel needles so that they don't unscrew while you're using them. Um, and then I also want to make sure that I have cables that are all different sizes for different projects, like for blankets, garments, um, baby stuff, you know, socks, whatever. Maybe not socks because I have socks knitting needles, but you, you get my point. Um, and then I also want to get a set of straight needles too for things that I use straight needles on. Um, because like for the shawl, I don't know, I feel like it'd probably be easier for me to use straight needles. I don't know. Knit well, maybe. I just found, while I was knitting this, I found that I would prefer to have straight needles, but I don't have any straight needles in that size because I believe I'm using, um, I think those are 2.5 or, oh, these are inside. I think these are three millimeter needles. Either way, I don't have needles this like straight needles this size. Those are my plans for knitting. Um, just better quality yarn, clearing out this stash, and introducing better quality yarn in my creating a new stash essentially, and then getting outside my comfort zone and educating myself more on knitting and stuff like that, so I can become a better knitter. Okay, on to the next topic. I have some work goals, I guess you can call it, um, or career goals or whatever. YouTube. I want to make this a full-time job. I want to really take my time 
in creating better content and I also want to learn to edit my videos to be entertaining to watch and not just run on me talking forever and ever and ever. I want it to be something entertaining and I want to really keep this going. I want to stay consistent and I want to make this just like a job. I don't know. I want I want to learn to be better at this so I can have more fun doing it, you know? Like I've only uploaded like what four or five videos, maybe five videos. And I already see myself like part of me is wanting to do more because I know that I can do better and I know I can do more, but the other part of me is like, well these last videos are kind of sucks. So like <laughs> you know what I mean? Not that they suck, but you know, like I know I can do better. And so I want to take this instead of being put off and like, oh, that sucks, walk away from it. I want to see, use this more of an opportunity to learn and grow. So this year is going to be all about growth and meeting goals. And my goal for this is to grow it to be something that we all enjoy in our own little space to come and hang out and build our own little community. Um, now, with that being said, to be able to make content, I have to stay very busy and consistent with my knits so I can have stuff to show you. Um, so that's the other thing is I want to be able to push myself to finish at least one thing a month because that means every month I can have a podcast with stuff to show you. Um, but I also need to make sure that I am staying busy enough to have content to show you guys. So basically, I need to keep staying busy. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to make this something amazing because I know that it can be and I know that it will be but yeah those are my goals for work I guess I don't know turning this into something awesome all right on to the next one <laughs> my spiritual growth so I am a believer in God follower of Christ and I feel like this last year my faith has grown a lot but since having Sophie my attention has been so much on her that it has drifted away from everything else I want to grow my faith in God and I want to have that relationship with him every single day I want to remember to pray to him I want to remember to read my Bible my husband and I like we, so we went to church on Sunday and it was January 1st, uh, the first Sunday of the year, first Sunday of the month. It was awesome. Uh, and our pastor talked about like New Year's resolutions and your goals for this year and everything. And he gave, gave us um, an idea of instead, instead of putting so much on your plate and having these giant unrealistic goals and trying to go on full speed ahead and then crashing after like a week, he said, just pick one or two things in your spiritual life that you want to do better on for this year and for me that is reading my bible because i suck at reading my bible i want to spend more time in the word and every day i want to make time for it every day um in the morning and at night at night either with my husband or by myself and then in the morning vice versa so i think in the morning i'll probably do by myself because i get up after my husband leaves most of the time um and then at night, I would like me and my husband to be in the Word together because that'll be time for us to spend together and it'll also be time for us to strengthen our relationship with God as well as our relationship together. That's, yeah, that is my goal for that this year. Um, it's just to be better about reading my Bible because <laughs> I did not read my Bible that much last year. <laughs> We're running out of daylight, so let's get into the tour. Ah! Over here, we have my sleeping child. <laughs> here, we have chairs from our church. Um, these chairs were placed at our church in 1981 and this summer they were getting rid of them to get new ones and they said take them if you want them the rest will be donated and that's what we did. We took two. Um, 
and I don't know what I'm doing with them. They're just here for now. Above that, I have my vision board that I uh, have not done anything with yet. Um, that is, that's my grandma. That's me, my grandpa. That's me, my daughter, my best friend's, and my best friend's daughter. Um, yeah, we have our calendar up. This is my desk that my husband built. Um, it is collapsible, so this actually has little, like, L-shaped, um, like, brackets underneath with little buttons and you push them, and this can fold down and, like, be up against the wall if you don't want to use it. Um, but yeah, I think it's an awesome little workspace. Um, great lighting. Um, yeah, I have my laptop and my little, uh, stand and my winders for my yarn i have my foot rest and then i'm using the rocking chair for now because i don't have an office chair to use but it works um in this little thing here we have knitting stuff crochet stuff and then miscellaneous and on shelf number one we have whips 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 <laughs> um fo's and then like some books and some random stuff candles all kinds of stuff um this is blocking stuff yeah this i need to organize that better but this is just how we have it for now and here i have my yarn as you can see it is somewhat color coordinated this is my giant bag of whips with another bag of whips inside ignore it <laughs> this is my little coffee coffee setup thing i got that for christmas my dad got that for me isn't it so cute anyway um yeah so i have my keurig with a little trash can charger um coffee pots coffee pods and then some teas my little teacup and yeah that is what we got going for us this is the sleeping beauty oh jeez. but thanks for hanging with me today i am so glad we got to spend some time together um, if you liked today's video, hit the like button and subscribe so you can come back and see what we're doing next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye.